Hello everyone and welcome back to Deep Rock Galactic where today we will be taking a tour of the entire space rig, talk about all of the secret hidden achievements, at least the ones that I know of right now, and what you can do in all of the different terminals. And I want to start off here in the Abyss bar today where first of all we have the jukebox and there will be plenty to cover so just sit down relax and let's get started so first of all here in the bar i know the game is a little bit quiet right now but i have to turn down the sound effects otherwise the jukebox is going to get us straight into the demonetized up here in the bar there are a few different achievements that you can get first of all if you buy 25 rounds of beer for your team you will be able to get yourself an achievement here and besides that we also have this barrel kick game over here and there are a few different achievements that you can actually get here if you hit 10 shots here with the barrel into the ring right there you will be able to get yourself an achievement with i think it's called dead accuracy or something like that which will get you an achievement for hitting 10 consecutive shots without missing which we just did there besides that you can also get yourself an achievement if you hit a total of 3000 points with using less or a total of 100 shots at the target that is <clears throat> something to keep you a little bit busy there and next to that you can also grab yourself whatever beer here you want to do get yourself a nice bus going and once you do that grab a drink here with a glyphid slammer go up to the ring here and once you are intoxicated you can actually get yourself an achievement if you jump into the ring after you are intoxicated so let's just see if we can actually hit the ring here at all bam there we go we already got the achievement so we won't get it but <clears throat> that is another way to get an achievement in here in the space rig and moving up to the bar here next to that we also have the jukebox which if you play 25 different songs on this then you will also get yourself a new achievement and it's very important to note that the songs actually have to play from one end to the other so you cannot just spam it it does not work like that one final mission that you or achievement that you can also get in the bar is buy a beer being a full team grab a beer press v do yourself some cheering there and you will also get an achievement on the topic of kicking barrels around there are actually also a few missions that you can get one of them being kicking all of the barrels into the launch bay and if you get all of them in there you will get an achievement and you will get a funny little easter egg about the dude and mission control telling you that you have now kicked all of the barrels into the launch bay because of this you should just get back to work basically because at the end of the day it's all about just leaving those barrels you know alone you don't want to they, they don't want you to kick them around but you know who can resist the temptation if you are good at resisting that temptation though you can also get yourself another achievement from doing so basically this just means that you have to not kick a single barrel barrel for 10 missions start a mission complete it get back and do that 10 times without kicking a single That's barrel funny. which i am personally very bad at not doing um then you will also get yourself an achievement so if you are good at not kicking the barrels maybe that should be a goal for you not to do but if you don't well then there's also the achievement for you if you want to get all of the barrels into the launch bay which is another another fun little gimmick nevertheless well proceeding on to the next areas here you probably know your personal part here by now but if you don't well then in here you can check your mission statistics as you can see here if you you have your different classes out here and you can see the stats here so mission completed 59 and then if i want to know well which one did i complete most in then i can hover over it and see scout 41 missions completed next to that we also have solo missions completed and again which class and then we have mission time distance traveled enemies killed minerals mined all of that stuff if we go in here we can claim all of the rewards that will give us perk points and all of these rewards are as you can see very different in what they want you to do so go have a look at them i usually just play and then get my rewards and also perk points and a little bit more of an easy to see statistics right here and that's about what you can do in here and then you can also switch your character if you want to do that but besides that there's not a lot to do in the personal pots so not a lot of secrets in here as far as i know and then moving on to the mid bay which is this little area where you will spawn if you die or if you die in a mission you can also die in the space rig here from jumping into the ring you can even die from drinking if you feel like doing so <laughs> you can also see the amount of times that you're down here and the amount of times that you passed out while drunk and as you can see that is actually a bit glitched right there because the text is overlapping the numbers so maybe you know should report that so that they can fix that and we have a little employee employee note here which right now says drink too much this is randomized and just a little fun text and you can see that for each of the players if you are in a group but right now we only have one 
because it's just me here. Also in the med bay, besides that, not a lot to do. So moving on to the different fortress that we have over here. First of all, we have the pickaxe customization. And in here you can basically, yeah, do as it says, customize your pickaxe. Not a lot to do, but if you are new to the game and you want to see some of the varia variations that you can get to your pickaxe, there is actually a really nice display going on here with many different pickaxe styles. So that might be for you if you are interested in seeing what you can get. And then on to the equipment terminal. And the equipment terminal actually holds an achievement for you if you are paying attention to the stuff that you upgrade. Because if you upgrade all of the stuff that you can in each single slot here, and this counts for pretty much all of them as you can see right here then you will actually also get yourself an achievement so there is another one to get but besides that not really and same counts for the drone modification this is Bosco your solo mission assistant and if you purchase one upgrade for each tier here as well you will also be able to get yourself an achievement and then in the middle here we carry the mission selection and the mission selection is where you choose your missions funnily enough if you're new to the game uh, just a few tips for this thing is that in here where you select your mission if you have this little icon here, this actually means that this is an assignment. So this will be an assignment. And if it is a guy in your group that has an assignment, then it will still show the icon, but it will also show your group member's name next to it so that is definitely worth remembering and then over here we have the shop where you can buy all of your cosmetics that's pretty self-explanatory there is a lot of different different items here haven't really found any achievements here but if you guys have any achievement that i miss please do let me know in the comments and while i say that we are just going to look at some that i missed in just a second but also just going to say that the mineral trade is right here haven't really heard about any achievements there about doing something with minerals i don't really know if you can get some there that i have missed but as far as right now i haven't found any at least but up here you can also grab a drink and throw that into the uh, hoops ring there if you do that then you will also get yourself an achievement that is also worth noting and besides that i think if you dance for an hour or something like that in total then you will also get an achievement so there are plenty of hidden achievements to get up in the bar at least but we also have the forge over here and the forge is what you unlock as soon as you promote your first character so get your characters to level 25 then you get a final assignment complete that assignment and you will be able to upgrade your character if you do so you will unlock the forge here and the, with the for forge you can uh, overclock weapons and you can unlock rare um, uh, vis visual items or what do you say uh wow i completely forgot what those are called but you kind of get what i mean the stuff that you can find in the shop here let's see the forge here right as you can see we have a couple of overclocks here right now that you can forge and then he will start forging them and once you move up in forging level then you will get a new matrix call which is super cool so if you play any of these classes as you can see once you do deep dives these are random so we have some here for a class that we haven't really played yet so we can't use them for much but maybe if you start playing those classes later then they will come in handy and the way that you get those is from the deep dives mission here and the deep dive and the elite deep dive is uh, weekly missions that you can go for we can press it down here and see what you can do with these deep dives and basically these are just weekly seated missions that are shared by the whole community of DIG. so you will all have the same mission so you can like talk about strategies and stuff if you need help with it and then besides that the, it's only promoted dwarfs that are allowed to join deep dives so again level 25 get yourself a promoted character and then you will be fine with it you have to sort of get your team going and then you can go you cannot late join as it says there are multiple like achievements for deep dives and in missions in general but those are not really hidden so we're not going to talk too much about that but besides these known areas and all of the obvious stuff that you can do there are also a few easter eggs that you can run around and do in the in the space rig here and one of them is if we go up here if you take the elevator over there you go up this staircase and then we run down here we can actually find a gravity recalibration if we touch that then this happens gravity sort of you know goes complete south and you will fly around for a bit until the uh, gravity has been recalibrated this brings us up to some interesting areas here and these areas are off limits apparently there's not really anything in here as of right now at least not something that i have found so we can we can run around here for a bit and and see some different areas and as you can see we can get really high but there's not really a lot of exciting stuff in there so what we're gonna do instead is gonna go to the memorial hall and in here in the memorial hall is where you will promote your character once you get to there so moving on in here 
we have as you can see plenty of memorials going on here we have a poster we have plenty of posters actually plenty of different screens and monitors in here and there is as far as i know a few different things that you can do with these but i haven't really explored much of them yet but the promotion altar terminal thingy is right here which is uh what i kind of wanted to get up here and show you guys and that's basically where you promote your characters once you hit 25 so this area is actually so huge and you don't really think about that but as you can see there are different like messages on these screens here about paying attention to them and as you can see you will get these statues once you start promoting your characters so if we unlock the driller to level 10 then we will get a driller statue and over here we have the engineer statue and since we have promoted our scout then he is now in gold don't know if he actually grows like even cooler as you as you move on i'm not sure about that but at least we are we'll have to see once we promote the uh, scout once more i guess we will at some point but that was the memorial hall and i think we have actually rounded off most of the different characters that we uh or most of the different areas that we wanted to see now and we've covered some of the achievements that you might not uh, be able to find yet but you will be able to find hopefully with this video and just a short little video showcasing this entire area today and all of their fun stuff that you can do for my own personal thing that i'm going to do now is go and get the uh, 3000 points here because it takes forever and sometimes you get close but then you have a true asshole of a friend who hits this button right as you hit like 2700 points i'm looking at you mckenzie and <laughs> kind of screws you over but it's fine it's fine we don't mind too much nevertheless that has been it for this video guys thank you so much for watching i hope you could put this to good use and catch you in the next one bye bye